Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Jillian and today I wanted to talk to you about connecting with angels, connecting with your angels. So your guardian angel, uh, archangels, healing angels, and just basically bringing in angels for support. So whether this is your first time connecting, I'm going to start with some sort of um, beginner steps, as well as um, ways to deepen your connection with angels. So thank you for joining me. If you want to get comfortable, maybe grab a cup of tea. We're going to be here for a, for a few minutes. You can go ahead and do that now. And um, I guess I should talk just a little bit about my journey with angels to start. Um, when I was a kid, I always felt like a deep connection to angels. I always felt like I had intuitive or psychic abilities. I was able to see and feel things that were out of this realm and I never really understood it. Um, and then I sort of like pressed it down for years and years and um, only to rediscover a couple years ago my connection to the angels after reading Kyle Gray's book, Connecting with Your Angels. So Kyle Gray has since become my teacher and I had the opportunity to study with him in New York a couple years ago. And um, I've pretty much read all his books and work with all his decks. So he's my, uh, my primary teacher, but since then I've also had the opportunity to explore um, some other people like Dory, the work of Dorian Virtue and uh, Diana Cooper and other um, people who have written uh, about angels. So um, I connect with angels daily in my own spiritual practice. And um, I believe that there are many ways that you can connect with angels. I don't believe that angels necessarily look a certain way um, or I think we need to have a personal experience with angels and that angels connect with us in a way that we can relate to and understand. Um, I do believe they are in a higher realm. I believe that angels are beings of unconditional love. So they're not in human form. Um, I also believe that they're androgynous. So even though they may appear as male or female, I don't really believe they have like a, a gender or a sex. Well, I also, what's important to say is I also believe that anybody can connect with their guardian angel. I don't, um, I think if you have a willingness and desire to connect with your guardian angel, that um, you'll be able to connect with your guardian angel. Uh, my teacher, Kyle Gray, says that um, our ability to connect with angels, I'm paraphrasing, but something along the lines of, is our willingness to listen. So I think the more that we're able to deeply listen to ourselves, and our intuition, our that sort of inner sense of knowing that the more we're going to be able to connect to the voice or the messages from our angels. And that may not be necessarily hearing a message. It could be feeling or sensing, or there's lots of ways that we can receive um, messages of guidance. But I do believe that we've all had a guardian angel that has traveled with us through many lifetimes and that our guardian angel is here to protect us and support us. And the more that we call on and ask for help, the more they're gonna be able to, to, to do that for us. So it's having that active communication with your angel is gonna bring a lot of support and protection into your life. So um, where do I wanna start? So yeah, so I believe that, um, I just have a couple of notes here so I don't forget anything. I believe that starting with your guardian angel, like if you've never connected with angels before um, and this is sort of new to you, I believe that a really good place to start is connecting with your guardian angel. Because like I said, I believe that we all have a guardian angel and some of us have multiple guardian angels. Uh, my teacher Kyle Gray says that we have as many angels as we need. And there's like this really beautiful story that he shares where he meets this, he met this um, little girl um, and for the first time when he meets this little girl, she had like, I don't know, something like half a dozen angels like surrounding her. And then he came to know like after meeting her that she had had multiple heart surgeries 
And so to me, that's just like a really good example of like having as many angels as we need, because clearly this little girl had gone through a lot and that she had this protection and unconditional love surrounding her that he could see. So, um, yeah, so what, like I was saying, a great place to start connecting with your angels is, is developing a relationship with your guardian angel. And um, I'm going to actually link below. There's a great guardian angel, connecting with your guardian angel meditation that Kyle Gray has on his YouTube channel. So I'll try and remember to link it below for you. That's a great place to start. But prayer and meditation are also just on your own are an excellent way to start connecting with your guardian angel. And um, you can start with a prayer as simple as like, you know, closing your eyes. You can light a candle. I always light a candle. I have one even lit for this video. To me, it just brings in this sense of sort of peace and harmony and uh, light, which angels bring in because angels are able to illuminate so much for us in our lives. So it just symbolizes that light to me, for me. Um, if you have, you know, if you have uh, smoke practices and you like to burn incense or, um, you know, Palo Santo or in, uh, like different, what, what did I just say? Palo Santo or sage or incense or something like that. And that's a ritual for you. That's a nice way to bring them in as well. Um, but yeah, just find a quiet place to sit and close your eyes. And you can begin with a prayer as simple as, thank you angels for reminding me of your presence. It feels so good to know you are here with me now. And just taking some time and space with that. It's a beautiful way to start and you can move into a meditation from there. Um, you can also say something along with like along the lines of like, thank you angels for all the blessings that I have received during this day, like sort of at the end of the day. And then you can kind of talk, like you could recite what you're grateful for. I am grateful for, thank you for this, 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 and this. Thank you for all the blessings that you have provided in my life today or whatever feels right for you. But I just think like having, like starting that communication through prayer is a really great way to start developing a relationship with your guardian angel. And then from there, you can move into a meditation. So prayer first and then meditation. And then, like I said, I'll also uh, link the guardian angel meditation below. Um, from there, if you want to work with, if you're going through a health issue, for example, and you really want to work with healing angels, you can call on the healing angels. Thank you, healing angels for placing your healing hands on my healthy body. I am ready to receive healing now. Thank you for your love and your presence or something like that, you know? So um, healing angels. And um, some of us already have a relationship maybe with archangels, like some of the major or main archangels in the Abrahamic religions, like Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, who's also the angel of healing, Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Uriel. So there's different ways that you can connect with these angels. There's specific prayers you can find online, or I like to use prayer cards. I have these, they're just like really simple prayer cards. This is Archangel Raphael. And so I personally went through, um, I was on a healing journey the last few years, healing a chronic illness. So I called on Archangel Raphael to help me through that. This one's actually, I think in French, cause I got it when I was in Europe, but um, there's prayer cards and this is for Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Gabriel is um, the angel of mothers and motherhood. So if you're trying to conceive a baby or you're pregnant or you need help with your kids, Archangel Gabriel is a beautiful angel to work with. Um, also, Gabriel is the angel of communication. So if you're having trouble with your, with your throat chakra or saying what you needs to be said or just living in alignment with your communication, Archangel Gabriel is a great angel to work with. And then again, that could be simply reciting a prayer. And there's this prayer here, which I think has to do with um, aligning with purpose because Gabriel helps us align with purpose as well. And here it says, Dear Archangel Gabriel, I pray that you surround me with your pure white light of purification and guide me to gain clarity of my divine purpose in life. Please help illuminate my way and raise my frequency so that I can easily listen, connect, and express the God source of my soul's purpose. And so it is. And so I really like to start my prayers with thank you and, as so, it, and so it is, because you're starting with the energy of gratitude. So there's like this connection to the divine, to angels, to these, um, you know, illuminated sources of unconditional love. 
and you're sort of opening up that connection, that communication with a, with a grateful heart. So it's a really nice way to start. So thank you angels for, please help me with this. Or, you know, just whatever feels right for you. But that's a, this is a good, um, a good place to start with prayer cards. I also, um, if you feel called to working with angel decks, I work extensively with angel decks and um, I actually just got a new one recently at, um, my local flea market. And this is a, a, a Doreen Virtue deck. It's a really beautiful one. It's called Messages from the Angels. I don't know if you can see that fully, but that's actually Archangel Haniel there. And she uh, helps women who are experiencing any sort of women's health issues. So um, another great angel to work with if that's something that you're experiencing in your life. She's a great angel to call on. But um, another, if you feel called to, the angel decks are a great way to get to know the archangels, to get to know your guardian angel. Um, this is messages from the angels, and you can even do something like a daily draw to connect with a particular angel and their energy. And often in some of these decks, there's a prayer or an affirmation that you can recite to start your day, and that's a great way to connect with angelic energy as well. So this is, um, like for example, let me just show you here. Um, so this is the messages from your angels, but I don't actually think Doreen Virtue's decks are being printed anymore, but you can sometimes find them secondhand. Uh, this is, so for example, Archangel Raphael is in here. And so he's the angel of health, healing, and helping us to shift our perception. And so here it says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. And then there'll be um, a write-up. There's often, most of these Oracle decks come with a guidebook and there'll be a more extensive write-up on how you can work with Archangel Raphael in here. So um, that's Doreen Virtue's deck. And then there's also, that's a newer deck for me that I've just started working with over the last couple months. But then I, I primarily work, and if you've watched any of my videos, I primarily work with Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Lights and, and Angel Prayers. And so in this deck, there's um, there's keepers of the light, so ascended masters, but there's also the energy of archangels. So for example, this is Archangel Zadkiel, and he is the angel of transformation. Who else do I have here? I have Archangel Raguel. He's the angel of peace and harmony. And so all the blue cards. So this is, these are from Angel Prayers, Kyle Gray's deck, Angel Prayers. It's a great deck to start with if you're looking to connect with Archangel energy. Also, you are protected. This is Archangel Michael. I'll just show you a couple more just so you can get an idea. Again, we have Archangel Raphael. And so I believe that we all experience angels in different ways. So I don't think we all see, feel, or, or necessarily experience angels the same way. Like for example, in Kyle Gray's decks, he, Archangel Michael's energy or his aura is blue. Whereas when I connect with Archangel Michael, who's an angel that I connect with almost daily or yeah, definitely daily, his energy is black. His aura is black. This like sacred, protective, keeping me safe with his sword and his shield energy. So I mean, this is a good guideline to start to work with angels, but allow your own experience. I would recommend like allowing yourself to have your own experience and be open to whatever comes up when you are in prayer or meditation. I have Archangel Metatron here, clear your vibes. So you get an idea. That's uh, that's the um, angel prayers and keepers of the light oracle decks. And actually, I have on my shelf here. I wonder if I, I do have it. Okay. Um, if you're looking to just start with guardian angel, with your guardian angel and developing a relationship with your guardian angel and you want to do the meditation and all the other angel stuff is a bit overwhelming for you and this is you just want to start with your guardian angel, the angel guide oracle, also by Kyle Gray, is a deck that was created to help you connect with your guardian angel. So... I'll just show you a couple of the cards from here. It's really beautiful artwork. So this is the, the guidebook. You guys can see that with the lighting. Yeah, angel guide oracle. And then, so for example, this is sacred plan. I actually love this deck, I haven't used it lately. 
signs and reminders, and there'll be a write-up in the um, in the guidebook as well. This one is so. If you were asking a question, this one is no. <laughs> Expect miracles. intuition and downloads yeah so this is a deck that i worked with a lot in the spring and it's a really beautiful deck to work with to, to d deepen your connection to your guardian angel and i will say in my experience that i really deepen my connection to my guardian angel working with this deck through prayer and meditation so it's another tool you can use um okay Okay, so um, I'm just going to talk about a couple more things. So if you're looking for a book that, um, you know, includes prayer, meditation, and um, connecting with your angels, I would definitely recommend. This is one of my favorite books of all time, Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. I've talked about this book before on my channel if you've watched my other videos. It's um, so it says harnessing the help of heaven to create miracles. And this is like a Bible to me, this book. I always come back to it. It's also signed by Kyle Gray. <laughs> um, but the thing that I really love about this book is like, so the chapters are broken down. So this is like, for example, the first chapter here is the miracle of prayer. Then he has a whole directory of angels and angelic beings. And as you can see here, they're all listed like Archangel Haniel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Jeremiel. And so there's a, there's a little section on, like an about section on the angel, as well as how you can connect with the angel. So prayers and affirmations. So if you're looking to develop a connection to the archangels, this is primarily archangels, this is a great, great tool. I love this book. I always refer to it. So for example, like Archangel Ariel. And then it says here, like she's the angel of animals. And then it goes into the next page. Um, meditation to connect with Archangel Ariel. Meditation to connect with your animal guide because she's the archangel of animals. So there's just, there's just like really, and then there's a, and then it finishes, it finishes off with a prayer to her, usually a prayer or two. And then also how you can work with her and other archangels. So yeah, this is just a really great tool uh, for developing an understanding and relationship with the archangels. And um, you can do the same thing that I suggested for your guardian angel. So you can, you know, have the prayer sit down, recite the prayer to whoever. I thank you, Archangel Ariel, for reminding me of your presence. It feels so good to know you are here with me. Thank you for guiding me in these areas of my life. I am willing to listen. And then you can sit in meditation and just allow whatever needs to come through to come through. And, um, you know, if you don't receive any information right away, that's okay. Don't get discouraged. I would, I would uh, encourage you to just develop a, if you want to develop a relationship with your angels to develop a regular practice where you spend time in prayer and, and meditation connecting with them. So, you know, I, I really do believe that um, if we create time and space for this, that we all have the ability to connect with our guardian angel and with the angels in general. So um, it's just about having the belief and, um, and knowing that they're present for you, knowing that you can welcome them in, you can ask them for help and they are here and ready to listen. It's just about creating that space and time for them. So I think that's everything I wanted to share with you today. Books, Oracle decks, we talked about the Doreen Virtue, Angel Prayers, an Angel Guide Oracle by Kyle Gray, working with uh, prayer cards. If you're a tactile person like me and you're visual and you like to see the, um, you know, the prayer itself written down. And sometimes it's nice to have some prayer guidelines when you're first connecting. Um, and then also, if you want to deepen your connection with the angels, I, in my experience, just spending um, time with one or two angels per week or per month and just dedicating that time. Like, so for example, right now I've been working with um, Archangel Gabriel 
and for the last few weeks and I'm really dedicating some time and space just for that angel and I'm working with her I think I feel that Archangel Gabriel is a woman I'm reading a book about her reading stories about how she's helped other women um, really deeply connecting with her energy and helping she's helping me with communication and with starting a family and I just feel like there's like this deep connection to her because I've set aside some time just to connect with her. So I think that once you have that um, sort of overview of all the angels, if you're curious about learning how you can connect with different angels for different purposes, because I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but like Archangel Ariel is the angel um, to help you deeply connect with animals or, you know, and then Archangel Gabriel is with for communication. So every Archangel has this sort of expertise or, um, focus um, in the way that they can help us. So once you have kind of an overview of all of that, then it's really nice to dedicate some time to one angel at a time moving forward, just to be able to really deepen uh, your connection to that particular angel and how you experience them. Um, yeah, I rambled a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is obviously a subject that I feel really passionate about. The angels have helped me in my life in so many ways, and I just can't imagine what my life would be without them. Like even yesterday, I was going in to get a um, an infusion, like an iron infusion, and it was like a really big, scary needle. And I'm not really like, not really afraid of needles, but it was in the front of my forearm, and it was just kind of. And I just remember the whole time I was there, I was just like, "Thank you, angels, for being with me through this procedure." Thank you, angels. And it just brought me into this place of, of peace, knowing that I was supported, knowing that I wasn't going through it alone, knowing that I can always call on the angels for help. And like, that's what I think is the most beautiful thing about having an angelic practice or connection with the angels is just this feeling that you're never alone and that you're supported no matter what's going on. And, uh, and that's uh, something that I feel very grateful for and feel very compelled to share with all of you. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm happy to chat about this. I love this subject. I want to support you. If you haven't had a chance to watch your reading for the week, it's not even halfway through the week yet, I'll, um, I'll pl plug it at the end of this video. You can check out um, your angel card reading for the week. And if you want to get in touch with me or book a reading, I'll leave my website details down in the description below. Thank you so much. Wishing you all a beautiful week and I will see you all soon.